wanted to um, show you something cool that you might not know about the BYD Shark. So if you go into your menu on your on your Ute and go vehicle, then comfort driving, and then uh, waiting protection, if you turn that on. Turning on waiting protection, its real purpose is to start the engine and keep it running while you're doing a water crossing so that the positive pressure in the exhaust prevents water ingress and then hydrolocking your engine. Uh, but a cool side effect to that is uh, it will keep the engine on until 100% state of charge is reached, uh, which is pretty cool if you just want to use the motor to charge. So having waiting protection on will burn about two and a half to three litres an hour, which will charge the battery at a rate of eight kilowatts. But working it out, I've uh, done a little bit of math and at $1.80, um, it'll work, to, work out to about um, 57, 58 cents um, to charge, which up the street, so they charge 70 cents uh, per kilowatt. So it's actually cheaper um, to charge off your own fuel. There is some other effects of waiting mode. So you can still drive in waiting mode, um, but it won't let you activate cruise control, which, you know, for some people, that, that's not a big deal. So what's cool about that is you could just take for a drive, um, have waiting protection on, charge up to 100, and then park it, and then you're good for the morning. Um, particularly if you do live in those units, those underground car parks, they never have uh, EV charging. But anyway, that's something to consider if you're a bit of a camper or you live in some units that you don't really have access overnight to power, uh, I thought that I'd just uh, share that with everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.